I went over to the gallery to see what they had there. And um, I'm really not a big fan of art, but um, I just go to check out some whenever I can. So, yeah, they go. <clears throat> art appreciation is the knowledge and understanding of the universal and timeless qualities that identify all great art. Art museums are not like amusement parks. You're not expected to enjoy everything, but whatever your taste, you'll find something you like. Art itself isn't to be understood. Yes, some analyze it, and many people will, but art is made to express what one is feeling. Art to some people is just pretty, to others it's complex and filled with very intense emotion. Art is what you make it, not what you understand it to be. Your opinion of art will be 110% different than the person beside you. There are, there are many schools of art, and in some of the modern ones, white is white. Because of art being a diverse area of activity, one should devote some time, if interested, to studying the different historical movements and understand the motivations in what and why. Understanding the reasons behind the various activities of these different movements will help you in a variety of ways. It will, all, it will allow you to see in the way the artists saw interpreting what they are seeing and what they are trying to achieve. This knowledge, of, this knowledge will then broaden your appreciation. For some people, art is simply something to enjoy, not for analyzing or discussing knowledgeably, and that's fine. Um, if you don't want to, you needn't, you needn't spend a lot of time trying to understand it, and you can simply decide what you like and what you don't. Even if I have preferences, I may not know why a painting by a given artist is important. I will be able to write an essay in order to explain what, what the, that importance is to someone, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I like it from the standpoint of personal taste. I don't have to, and neither do you. <laughs>